what, what a great start to the season he's been having. And that was one of the areas that Justin Fields thought he might be able to exploit. On third down, he's in trouble. And there's Nick Bosa on this loaded front seven. There's the headliner. Well, that's the problem, right? It, at some point, you've got to go one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be Braxton, Braxton Jones versus Nick Boza. And it's right there, just that, that transition. You're worried about his speed, and then he turns and uses the power. You can see right there as he moves Braxton Jones backwards every once in a while. They've been playing off with their back to the sideline, making sure that they're just giving up these underneath. They're going to tighten up a little bit right now. Well, that's incomplete through the hands of Marquise Goodwin. Pressure by Charles Omenahu again, and Smith ended up on the ground. Make sure it ends in a score, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown. Get yourself right back in it. Smith with Bosa charging in. It's Nick Bosa with a sack. Of a play action stuff, and Nick Bosa right up here on the top of your screen. The back comes in there to take him, and that's just not, I mean, he just doesn't even touch him. That's Penny. Doesn't touch him, and Nick Bosa knows how to finish. Give to Penny. Oh, Bosa had him. And Bosa catches up to him. No gain. Four-man twist up front. Smith unable to get away. And guess who? He's going to come back in here as they run this game. See him inside there. But that is coverage right there. When you have that kind of coverage on the back end, Back end of that defense playing change. They're getting all kinds of depth. You've got to hold that ball if you're the quarterback. And you've got arguably the best deep ball thrower in the game. Wilson. That's tangled up there. And that might be a down. trip. He clearly lifts the leg, which is illegal to obstruct an opponent, even the runner. I'm surprised they picked this up. This is this is tripping. He, he, it's, it looks intentional to me to, to, to obstruct the, uh, the runner. And that's what caused Stafford to get it out and be incomplete. Third down and nine. Bosa. The sack. Well, they pick off his guy. Note Boom's not able to slide over. They don't communicate it effectively along that left side of the offensive line. And here comes Bosa. Quick snap. Stafford in trouble and... He's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And then Darnold goes on IR with a high ankle spray. First down run. McCaffrey is buried. Fred Warner, no game. First and ten for Mahomes. Pressure, and he's sacked! First one of the day, and it's Bosa who gets home. In this case, Bosa, you can see him here working off the right tackle. Andrew Wiley, and he just keeps rushing. Mahomes tries to look left. Nothing there. He pulls the ball back down. That's the extra beat. That's what D'Amico Ryans talks about. And they're going to blitz. Pressure coming. Stafford is dropped. Fred Warner with help of others in the 49ers defense. But watch Fred Warner. Here's the twist. Big, big, big twist. You know it's coming. We've pointed out a few times. It's just really hard to pick up. They're so explosive and fast up front. Just can't quite get there. Bobby Evans. And it's scary to see what they're going to look like post by if they can continue to add these fresh bodies coming back off injured, injured reserve. And there comes Bosa and Stafford is down. There's Bosa right there. Just makes, I mean... Another one of these stunts, he goes inside. We've said it all day. And the Rams have to be in drop back situations. Getting goal, Herbert escaped. He was going to try to flip it, but Bosa had his right leg. And Nick Bosa gets another sack, nine and a half on the season. Out in the route, but it means they're going to have Sorrell one on one against Bosa. Not bad initially, but not good enough. And Chris, they, they've got backups and four rookies, five first-year players on the field right now. And they're hanging here with a good San Francisco team. Isaiah Spiller's one of those rookies. He will not go anywhere. Foster Sorrell on the outside. He has the unenviable task of Nick Boza, but he has been battling over there. Boza wins that one. 
as a ball boy with the 49ers. And the relationship continues. This Bosa behind the backfield gets DeAndre Carter. Loss of five. Remember when Bill Parcells used to scream on the sideline? That's why you lift all them weights. <laughs> all right, there, so you can grab a guy by his uh, T-shirt. It's a strong dude, man. You can never have too many poses on your team. <laughs> Last year in this. Pulls it down, and <laughs> down he goes, Bosa. Then tries to come out the back door, and Bosa is right there waiting on him. That's the first sack of the game for either side, and for Nick, he's got ten and a half sacks now in nine games. See, when he's in the backfield throwing the ball, Andy Dalton is a red rifle, but when he's outside, he's a red rocket man. <laughs> And Taysom Hill can't get to the edge at all, thanks to Drake Jackson, former USC Trojan. Three wide left. Play clock at two. Dalton gets the shotgun snap. Dalton backside pressure. Bosa got him. I thought Bosa left a little early. You know, you're like a couples counselor. You're only going to get 50% approval rating. So that's just kind of the way it goes. But the Saints fans would just be absolutely livid. Your former teammate is not. <laughs> <laughs> Tunga by low looks to throw. He'll have no chance. He's sacked by Bosa. I tell you what, watch. First, he's going to get a little bit of a chip by Alec Ingold right there. Now, the second back comes in for the cut. Jeff Wilson should know better than that. You got to get through his thigh on the previous play. Nick Bosa beat the block of Alec Ingold the same way on a cut block. He's too athletic. You got to get up high around his waist. Wrong guy to mess up against. Out of the timeout, third and eight. 49ers twist up front and get to Tunga by Law. Bosa again. Four man rush, but you're going to add Fred Warner to it. And then you're going to loop Bosa back inside. Here comes Nick Bosa back in that clear lane right to the quarterback. There comes Fred Warner. He's got the right guard occupied. You'll get that big gap for Nick Bosa to come around. Second of the game for Bosa. 13 and a half this year. Third in the NFL. Now one of his best games as a 49er. Down nine with two to go. Tonga by Law. Hit as he throws. Ball is out. Ball is live. And it is a touchdown for Dre Greenlaw. We will see. No doubt this is going to get looked at. And that's what Nick Bosa is for the Niners. You get your initial push inside, force him to climb, but he is so relentless. You can see him get that ball punched out before the hand comes forward. You go back and you watch. It's on the cusp of field goal range. It's a Nick Bosa sack that takes him out of field goal range. It's a critical third down. It's a tackle for a loss by Nick Bosa. You just can't ever put anything by him. Again, four-man rush. Brady steps away, looking to run, and has a short game. Not going to get, but nobody sees him with a late blitz. Third and 18, and that pass is incomplete, and it was tipped there as well. Nick Bosa got a hand on it. This offense is out of rhythm. Give all the credit to the 49ers defense. Second and 21, and down he goes. Speaking of 97, Bosa, 15 and a half now in the year. And we just talked about how he's doing a pretty good job with cross, but it's never ending. See how low he is to the ground? He's, he is so, look how low he is. Maintains his balance. Red zone trip by the Niners. No points on downs. Commander defense holds. First and 10 from the 15. Big tackle right there by Bosa. Actually, that was Thomas that was trying to block him. First and 10. San Francisco, Washington. And look out from behind. It was Bosa bringing down the quarterback, Taylor Heineke, at the 27th. Your defensive player of the year in the league. Well, they're going to have to tip. They're not, they're not going to be able to go one-on-one.
Watch a hard count here to try and get an easy one. And the quarterback takes it himself and tries to submarine. All he has to do is touch that 35. Taylor Heineke. If it touches any part of that white line. Nice block by the top. Fumble again. Recovered, it looks like, by San Francisco. It popped right up. Has Heineke fumbled again? There's a fight for you. You can see Willis. You can see the lineman. And you can see Turner grabbing the ball. Well, Willis Heine- came out with it. 75's got the ball in his hands. They're calling oh. it interception. Either way, it's a turnover, and that killed the Commanders last week against the Giants on Heineke turnovers, and look where he turns this one over here. He's able to come up with the ball. That's Bosa a fumble. Knocks, That's yeah, a fumble. Bosa knocks the ball in the air. It's definitely not a pass, but Willis sees the ball and is able to – how he's able to get that ball. <laughs> there, there's three Commanders right there trying to rip it away from him, but Bosa – as you said, Kevin, he hits that elbow. The ball pops straight up in the air. 16 starters. That's currently third most injuries in the NFL. Wow. He's going to go down. It's time to 45. Nick Bosha, 18 and a half sacks, continuing to add on to his NFL league leading total. Sometimes when you just get beat like this, and again, we've seen so many times in his career, Nick Bosa, he's just got so much speed and power and closes. Second and short. He's got it again. Waits for something to develop. It never does, and it's Nick Bosa there to shut him down. Watch him on the left edge. Watch everybody coming his way, right? Here come your pullers. They're supposed to block and kick you out. He fights through both of them and finds his way to Kenneth Walker. You got 311-pound Charles Cross, 327-pound Damian Lewis, and he just kind of sheds him aside. Draw. No chance. Bosa. Fourth down. Pressure. Ball is out. San Francisco's got it. It was all Nick Bosa. And eventually they're going to make the big play. Elliot. Absolutely nowhere. Nick Bosa. You're going to see Noah Brown. He kind of becomes the lead blocker. Just nowhere to go. Tyron Smith, the right. But this whole offense is built around Jalen Hurts. There's no doubt about that. And Hurts in trouble, and he is just going to get out of the end zone. Typically, one person's assigned to the running back, and one person's assigned to the quarterback. In this case, Nick Bosa said, forget it. I'm just going to defend everybody. They're trying to get Jalen Hurts around the edge there. With Jack Stoll, number 89, the tight end, as kind of a peel lead arc blocker. and Third and two. It is Hurts with a nice move and a spin, and he is going to be short. But I don't see a lot of conservatism in this Philadelphia offense. Gainwell again tries to stretch to the edge and tackled for a loss that time. 